Naba Wanuka Alima of Semba Bule District and Miss Nakiseka Rose from Kalungu District. So far three suspects have been arrested who led the security to where they had dumped the bodies of these slain innocent girls. Among the three suspects is a witch doctor that allegedly wanted virgin girls for sacrifice. Once the victims were rejected by the witch doctor, the suspects in our custody went ahead to demand for ransom and kill those victims. The third category, crimes for passion. In this particular category, Ms. Brina Nalule from Kayunga district was murdered. She had a relationship suspected to have sparked of her kidnap and the vice of murder. We have three suspects in our custody. The fourth category is that one of self-kidnap. Twenty cases under this category have been registered. The intentions are, are diverse, include, including love relationships, extortion, and failure to account for some details, including loss of money and staying longer away from home. Many have been taken to court and one was convicted. You will realize that the majority of these cases are actually self kidnapped action by security agency. We have intensified patrols and visibility across the country. Number two, we have equally stepped up joint security operations to pursue these suspects wherever they are in order to ensure that justice is done. Number three, we have intensified intelligence operations across the country to detect and deter further crimes. Number four, we are enhancing mobilization of the public to be more vigilant against potential kidnappers. Number five, we have established a 24-7 emergency response, response center at police headquarters to which cases of kidnap must be reported immediately. This centre shall follow up and coordinate rescue efforts, if any. We have put in place, and this I request the media to inform the public widely, we have put in place toll-free telephone numbers that the public should call in the event of a kidnap. The first number 08-001-99990. I hope you have got that. The second line, 08-001-99991. The third line, Zero eight zero zero one ninety nine ninety nine two. So those are the three toll free lines. Now to the public, I I, I I I want to advise the public one to report any cases of kidnap or missing persons to allow timely rescue efforts. Number two, to stop these acts of self-kidnap because it is a criminal and those involved will be prosecuted accordingly. <coughs> Number three, to avoid making payments to, to the kidnappers, keep security in the know of these demands. Now, in the conclusion, we condemn these acts of criminality 
and call upon the public and parents in particular to take very keen interest in the movements of our vulnerable sons and daughters. Security is not attributing these crimes to a particular faith as insinuated by some people. I want to finally commend and encourage security forces and the citizens of this country, including the media, for the good job they are doing to fight criminality. Our resolve to ensure safety and security in the country is total for God and my country. So that's the message I'm putting across the country. Thank you for listening to me. Don't you clap. <laughs> <laughs> Do they have any questions? This thing has been very clear. <laughs> so, in the interest of time, if there are no questions, we will move. If there are questions, we shall take very few. Yes, my, my good friend. Introduce yourself from the media house. Mm -hmm. My question is, there are questions, one, you said there are, there are three rights, the four rights, one is terrorism. So I want to like to know, know these cases have been submitted whether there is a kind of a rebel group or which could be a handwork of a rebel group for this reason. Then question two. You go slowly. Have you established? Where is the handwork of a certain rebel group? You include you also. I the investigator. I'm Then question two. Uh, do you, uh, at the time have I found, have I found what? The pressing issues in the police force. The police force. That could be the reason of the sporadic kidnap and murder and other kind of crimes. And you finishing all the questions for other. Do you think uh, how how that the the breaking through the of the bigger which is directed for government and the square battle hamper your investigation at the police institution? We shall take all the questions once and we will answer one. Let me see the hand. Who? Can I guide only to what we have heard of kidnaps, even in the state center, around that park. We, we, we are seeing cameras all around the town. Are they still working? Are you meaning cameras like this one? Salt. Salt media. Where is that one? <laughs> Huh? This one is here. Uh -huh. I just wanted to inquire about the kidnapping. You also see the kidnappers, they use phones to communicate with people to advance the work of the war. I just wanted to know. Can the police tell us or the inspectors tell us that these people have their gadgets or their intelligence more than those? 
de mi comodo, Raúl Tauri, de apoyo, ante el fenómeno actual político, la Guadalajara. Directly speaking, taking note of that question, you will take it. You will respond to that one. Okay, Simon and Stuart. No, let's first handle this piece. Let's first handle this. Uh, Mr. Joseph Cato wants to know whether we have established any terrorist group. Some of the suspects we have arrested are allied, are allied to some terrorist group. Now it will be premature for me to disclose now, to disclose what, what those terrorist groups are. But in the near future, once we, we, we arrange them, then we shall tell the, the, the country. Number two, since I took over, are there pressing issues that could be the reason of sporadic murders? No, I don't have any pressing issue. Huh? And in fact, I'm enjoying my work. <laughs> now, number three, how does the breaking into the gas affect your investigation from our finding no no valuable no valuable ex exhibit was taken as a result of that breakage in fact it was the office of the the, the, the director thing hmm? so it is not hampering us in any way Twaha Mukibi are the cameras working? Yes, they are working. There is a command center here. If you, we can take you there to see. You will see the whole town. And those are some of the gadgets we have used in helping us with the, the tracking in cases. Salt media. Let the director counter in the hands. Huh? Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, salt media. Uh, thank you, sir. Actually, it is the media fomenting the whole thing. I want to assure the country to remain calm. There is no cause of alarm here. Yes. Take two more. We shall take two more and we shall close it. Those two and the same one. So they will cover the country. My name is Robert. I work with NTV. You work with?
Yes, yes, who? Director CID, you will handle that. You added another one. So you can write you are then I will we shall discuss. I will respond on the phone. <laughs> Simon Masaba. I think he, let's handle those. The gentleman who, who Forest Mal, a lady was arrested. How do you differentiate between a rightful security operative and a rogue one? A professional security officer is taught in the training school how to effect an arrest. First of all, you are supposed to identify yourself. Secondly, you must inform that person that you are under arrest for A, B, C, D. Now, where arrests are affected in the manner you, 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 you see, please help us to apprehend them. You arrest for us, those people. They are armed. No, but you can get a stone and a stone with them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because professionally, that arrest was not in order. I wish I could know who those operators were, so that I would fold it up. So you can help me. You will ring me if you can get it. Then uh, patience to Rinawe, officer who was arrested in the Kawempe, Flying squad, director CID, can you tell us the status of that case? A delegate does not a delegate. <laughs> okay, Commander KMP. Now, Simon Masaba, schools are opening next week. What measures do we have? First of all, in my statement, I appeal to parents to take very keen interest in the movement of the children. That is one. Number two, you are aware we have re-established the 99 patrol system. So we are going to reinforce to increase the number of patrol vehicles so that the city is well managed. Three, we are going to increase our covert, covert operation. That is by the intelligence. 
by intelligence. CPC, I think you had also something to say. Yes, Mr. Chairman, we are reinvigorating our um, child protection um, uh, child protection uh, program, and uh, from from your from what you have said, we are going to mobilize to do more mobilization and sensitization in schools and other and, uh, and even communities. The CROs, the PSPOs, they have all been uh, reorganized. And the, sir, I can add on that we are now going to be working with the UNICEF um, office that is providing us more support in order to make sure that we increase on our child protection program. We are going to find them in school and we have also um, going to make sure that we even talk to the parents, especially when they come to the uh, when they come to, 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 to parent meeting, so that we have that interaction and we keep on. But we also want to sensitize people about the use of social media, about how they use social media, because they expose their families, they expose their children on social media. So if we are going to have a more meaningful and robust protection program, then we must also know how we are using social media. Is there anyone who, who still has some matter? No, I think he... Can we... Uh, okay. Thank you. My name is Denis Kato. Denis Kato. Uh -huh. You work for CBS? Yes, CBS. is what? It belongs to who? We have a problem of six missing Ugandans that were kidnapped on Lake Edward on Saturday. We don't know what's going on, we don't know whether they are safe, all the trees and abducted. Those six missing Ugandans were abducted uh, from the reports we, 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 we got by elements of my mind. Now, they want a ransom. Is this some 10 boxes of ammunition? Yes, yes. So, we also arrested there. there. They were also fishing on our side. So we are saying, okay, if, if you want boxes, we shall now see. We shall see how to go about it. So they are there, we also have theirs. The rest leave it for us. How many? We briefed how many? Where's the parade? Also six. Twenty-six. 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 So we are on the upper hand now. <laughs> yeah. So we shall sort it out with them. Yes. Suspects arrested in Madaka. We are, we are sure that 700, that 700 million. What is find out if police have covered the money that was attached? The property they used by the and what are you taking the money to find things from? Why are you interested in the money? <laughs> <laughs> Director CID, you participated in that recovery and all this. You tell them the status. What did we recover? But you can withhold some other security information. I can see this lead was very interesting. Mm -hmm.
So you can see the press, instead of writing about such recoveries, that is a plus for the state. For you, you are there infla- pushing things, blowing things out of proportion. Thank you for asking that. Now that you know, we, re- we made those recoveries. Uh-huh. So, ladies and gentlemen, you have the last one, but there have been last ones here. Uh-huh. You are who? Still what to who? Yiga. Yes. Yes. My, my is, uh, is about the total number of suspects that have so far been arrested in the connection to kidnap and murder. Because uh, Commander Kapel talks of three suspects, we would like to know the total number of suspects. Let me again read for you this. It seems this gentleman came late. We are talking about the last four months. In the last four months. Uh, let me see. There was somewhere here where we were talking of. Eh? So I have been advised professionally by, by a journalist that we shall provide you that information later on. Otherwise, I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of you for having responded to our invitation. I thank the general from UPDF for having joined us and participated with us the whole day. Our cooperation will continue. We shall harvest. We shall harvest them. Then suffocate them through the court. Yeah? Those who think it is business as usual should forget. I would like again to assure the country that the situation is normal, is calm. Let's make use of this center we have established here. You, the media, always link up with us through the set. I've given you the, the, the toll free lines so that we jointly fight this criminality. Otherwise, thank you very much. I wish you a safe journey from where you came from. To where you came from. If you came from Shauriyako, <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs>